Happy December, everybody. This is the Christmas advent of Lord Byron and I visiting you guys. Well, trying to make it our goal to do it every single day of December. As you can see, he also gets a little present because it is his snack time and he's earned it by being such a good boy. So today we are going to be starting a whole new holiday theme story. I know, exciting. I have been looking into the recommendations that you guys have given me and we have decided to go with All I Want for Christmas. It is a lovely story that has heartbreak, reunited lovers, and a little bit of a Christmas miracle. I hope. I don't know what the story is actually like. That's just going off the summary of the story. So, All I Want for Christmas, Chapter 1. This is Lord Byron's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. And without further ado, give this video a like and let's go. So there we are. Now is your chance to customize your main character. Look at her, guys. Actually, since this is a holiday special, that is our first time doing one, I'm going to make her look like me, hopefully as much as I can. Now, don't judge me on this, okay? So, I think our skin tone is pretty okay. My hair is a blonde-ish, and it's long, and it's straight right now most of the time. That's kind of like me, but I don't have bangs like that. So, we'll go to change color. Yes, yes. And now we have to change our eyebrows. I mean, mine are not blonde, but they're like a brownish color. Yeah, that color is good. Now let's change our eyes. I think the eye shape matches me because whenever I do my makeup, I always do it like that. Um, now we just need to change the color to brown. Let's change the nose. Yes, yes. Face shape. I think her face shape matches mine. What do you guys think? Let's just change her lips because I think I have a little more heart-shaped lip. That seems like it. Oh my God, it's like looking in the mirror, I wish. <laughs> and voila, there is Nora. So this is chapter one, all I want for Christmas. Our guy is so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Four years ago, on a snowy evening, I threw a snowball at him. I hope that was me. And he got really angry. Is this our meet cue? Oh, I'm going to get you for that one. Oh, please don't. <gasps> okay, he's actually attacking us. He's chasing us. And he tackled us to the ground. Wait, our name is Holly. We don't even get to change it. But it's okay, since it's Christmas themed, Holly, you know, of the Holly. Yeah, it matches, it's fine. Is this your way of getting close to me? Get off me, knucklehead. Um, You're suffocating me. I'm gonna be all flirty. Is this your way of getting close to me? You got me. <laughs> but I thought we agreed face shots were off limits. What are you gonna do if this gorgeous face gets damaged? That's true. I mean, his face is full lawless. <laughs> all is fair in love and war. You know I have bad aim. I'm a rule breaker. I'm gonna say all is fair in love and war. We're gonna be generic like that. Yeah, yeah. You're just lucky I love you. Oh, we already have an established relationship. Lovely. I love you too. Aww. And there we go. Oh, apparently in the flashback of the story, I was a brunette. I didn't even realize a girl does not look like me. Hey, what's wrong? Oh my god, maybe this is like my past self when I had brown hair before I dyed it blonde. Wow. I'm scared. That I'm going to get you back with a snowball to the head? Girl, don't worry. I'm being serious, Noel. Uh-oh, what's happening? What's next Christmas going to be like for us? Um, next Christmas? I don't know. Next Christmas, you and I are going to be home as soon as our winter break starts. And we will spend the entire time cuddling, drinking hot cocoa with tiny marshmallows and watching the Grinch on repeat. Literally my dream Christmas, the tiny marshmallows and the Grinch who doesn't love the Grinch. Don't lie. We both know you'll be begging to watch Die Hard at least once. It's a Christmas movie. <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. Do you promise? I promise. Ooh, I sent something bad is going to happen. Someone's gonna break a promise. You're my Holly Jolly and I'm not spending another Christmas without you. Holly Jolly would love that. Ooh, who's this stunner? Present day. Good evening, America. You're watching Double Take, and I'm your host, Beth Coleman. Tonight, we have an extra special guest joining us. Three years ago, he was singing in a little bar outside of Denver, and now he's a household name. Please welcome rock star Noel Evans. Woo! Yay, we're in a talk show. Ooh, somebody got fancy. Did he get famous? Now's your chance to customize Noel. Noel, we love Noel. You look perfect. Stay the way you are, buddy. Thank you for having me tonight, Beth. It's truly an honor to be on your show. Said the rumors are true, you're quite the charmer. So I've been told. <laughs> well, we are so glad to have you. Get going, Beth. Right, everyone? Wink. We love you, no. Woo! Yeah, you got fans. <laughs> I love you all too. 
And you come to our show today with very exciting news. Yeah, tonight is the first night I can officially announce my new project. Tomorrow, I'll be flying back to my hometown in Littleton, Colorado. Littleton, the cutest name ever. We'll be shooting a documentary for my Christmas album covering my life there. You'll see it all where I grew up, my parents, my friends, and my favorite places. And we'll end it with a big Christmas concert for everyone in town. Ooh, I sense a reunion happening, you guys. Hopefully, we're still friends. But if he ditched us to get famous, we are going. Going to have some words. Woo! And will you be bringing a date to this concert? Ooh. Oh, say what now? You see, I'm not really dating right now. Really? We all noticed a certain actress on your arm from the red carpet to brunch dates. Claire and I are. Uh, <clears throat> I never said a name. Oh, she's a good journalist. Well, there may be something between Claire and I. That better be PR, no. Do not dare cheat on me even though we might not be together anymore. And as much as I love and appreciate you and my fans, I will probably stay between Claire and I for now. Understood. Now, this is the first time you've been back home in three years. What have you missed the most from home? The questions seem to always stop me in my tracks. What is it? Doom, doom, doom. What I miss the most? Better be me. It better be Holly Jolly. There's so many things I could say. The town, the people, my parents. But no matter how long it's been, the same answer flashes through my mind. Holly Jolly. There's my girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm so cute in a flashback. Oh, tears. Honestly, just the feeling of being home. Yeah, that's right. I'm throwing popcorn at you in big clumps. What the? I was watching that. Is that my new boyfriend? <gasps> you don't need to be watching that garbage hauls. I wasn't. So it just happened to be on. Admit it. I may have recorded it. It's not a big deal. I'm not obsessed. Don't worry, guy. I didn't even catch his name, Jeremy. Oh, Holly. But throwing popcorn at his face happens to be very therapeutic. Trust me. Well, if he was here right now, I'd throw a lot more than popcorn, if you know what I'm talking about. Look, little brother. Ooh, Jeremy's my little brother. I can handle him myself. Stay out of this. He's not worth getting angry over. I'm gonna say he's not worth getting angry over. You just shouldn't be watching people kiss his butt on television. Let me stalk my ex in peace. I told you, I'm a stalker, and you always get very desperate during the holidays. It's a known fact. Jeremy was right, but I just couldn't believe it all. Noel's been famous for three years now. Years. Why did I say it like that? Years. Yet I still couldn't process that the rock star on screen was the same boy I felt for so many years ago. Because honestly, the rock star, the heartthrob, the celebrity had very little in common with the boy I once knew. Because he changed. Oh, wow. Okay, player. Rude. No. You know, you didn't have to lie about us today. Claire. No. I told you I'm not ready. Oh my god, they're official. Yeah, you told me many times. But you never care to explain what you aren't ready for. I'm not ready for, um... Uh... Holly to know. Yeah, like you care. Like you clearly dumped us. Or the world to know, you know? The world has already seen us together multiple times. We just look like liars now. You're right, you're right. Hmm. Let's announce it when I get back from Colorado, okay? Yeah, I have a itty bitty feeling that that ain't gonna happen, girl. Okay, Claire? Really? Mm-hmm. Are you sure I can't fly out with you tomorrow? I need time to settle in before you come. Trust me, Claire. Don't be needy. But that shouldn't take more than a week or so. Okay, I can't wait. Now, where were we? Yeah, I don't even want to look at that because I still consider that cheating on me. You never told me the meaning of the birds. Uh, it's this little holly jolly flying away. You never asked. I'm asking now, silly. Should I tell her? Open up, be vague. I'm going to open up because I want to know. <sighs> They're turtle doves, you know, the kind that made for life. Isn't that the name of your first single? Yeah, the song and the tattoo kind of go together. My ex and I got them before we left for school. They were supposed to symbolize soulmates or mating for life. Ugh, clearly that didn't work out. But I guess now they don't mean anything. I know a good doctor who can get it removed. Don't you dare, Claire. Get over yourself. Aw, you better still love us. I liked Claire, I really did, but she was different than Holly. Yeah, because Holly's adorable. I mean, you know, cute Holly Jolly back at home waiting for you with hot chocolate and little marshmallows and die hard and the Grinch. Claire was so cold while my haul, Holly was warm. I usually didn't notice it much until we were in bed and everything would feel so, so wrong. 
No matter how much time passes, every night brings me back to Holly. And tonight I'm thinking of her more than ever. I know Holly better than anyone in the world. I just can't show up to my hometown, our hometown, without even bothering to contact her first. She'd never do that to me. Wow, seems like you really care, but then why did you dump us? I'm so confused, I need to know what happened to us. After all these years, I need to show Holly I still care and personally let her know I'm coming home. Call Holly, text Holly pass up the opportunity. I don't know, in my personal opinion, I would be terrified of actually calling someone after three years of just like leaving them high and dry. But since I don't know the situation, I feel like the call would be the better option. So let's just go with that. Here we go. We're gonna call her. <gasps> no way. It's Noel? Um, hello? Holly? Yeah. Uh, hey, um. Hey? Awkward. Oh, he loves us. He missed our voice. Hello, say something. Awkward. Was this a butt dial? Yeah, she seems angry. No, 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 I meant to call you. I, I have something to tell you. All right then, better be good. I'm coming back to Littleton tomorrow. You might have already seen it in my interview, but I couldn't come back without personally telling you myself. Hmm, I see. Mm hmm. What? So there is still a decent human being somewhere in you. Oh, oh, oh. So now we see there was a bad breakup. Some shade has been thrown. <laughs> Thanks, Hall. That's high praise coming from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fine. Just don't let it get to your head. Never. So? Hey, Noel. Yeah? Thanks for telling me. Of course. Good night. Good night. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't want to talk to us more. I'll see you soon, Holly. So are you playing with two girls? I don't respect that. As much as I despise Claire right now just because she's competition, I think you should respect Claire and either tell Holly or tell Claire. Bad boy, being a bad rock star. And here's your extra special holiday gingerbread latte, Mr. Kelly. I hope it gets your day off to a great start. It always does things to you, Miss Holly. Bye. This coffee shop used to be my mom's. She loved running the shop with all her heart. After she died, I dropped out of film school to take over for her. Girl, you didn't have to do that. I mean, it's film school. You could have been a producer, a director, maybe an actress. It had always been my dream to become a great filmmaker, but my mother meant everything to me, and this was my way of honoring her legacy. I mean, I guess it is cute to own a coffee shop. Who wouldn't want that? Ding, ding. I guess that's the doorbell. <gasps> Oh my God, Holly, I came as soon as I heard. Miranda, what are you doing here? Miranda's so cute, I love her little mom. I thought we agreed your maternity leave started yesterday. But that was before I found out that you know who is coming to town today. Voldemort, he who shall not be named? No, no. Right, no, that's what I meant. He did at least have the decency to call me and let me know he was coming. Good for him, I'm glad he did. But even with that heads up, I figured I needed to be right by my best friend's side for this pregnancy be darned. I mean, this is the first time you and Noel are seeing each other in three years. Uh-oh. Are you two talking about Noel Evans? Holly, I can't believe this is the first time you're seeing each other in three years. Word travels way too fast in this town. Okay, Holly, time to change. Yay, I always have a best friend who takes care of me, my fairy godmother. What? Why? This can't be the way you want Noel to see you after all these years. Uh, you mean coffee stains, a cute little apron, a weird little hat? Totally, that's my vibe. Miranda, I don't need to try and seduce Noel. We're over. I still haven't forgiven him for the way he left things. Okay, even if you don't want to admit you still have feelings for him, which I know you do. Mur, this is still your rock star ex you're talking about. He's rolling into town in designer clothes and a fancy stretch limo. I know you want to prove him you've been living your best life since he's gone. And it wouldn't hurt to make his jaw drop at the same time, right? You know what, Mer? You're right. If Noel's coming back into my turf in my town, I'm going to show him just how I've been thriving without him all these last three years. Yes, now let's get you made up. But I don't have anything to change into and Noel's arriving any minute. Clearly, this town only has an airport and a coffee shop shop so the next stop he's gonna make is the coffee shop right well lucky for you i made a stop on the way here i bought you three brand new show stopping outfits to leave Noel's jaw on the floor choose whichever you want to wear now and you can keep the rest for later Ooh la la let's go love this that's definitely gonna show him that she's not just a small town girl okay i love all these outfits I don't like the green on her very much though no we'll be speechless i love the blue let's do that make Noel's jaw drop with a whole new wardrobe yeah she's gonna be a present under the mistletoe a present under the christmas tree 
This is the outfit she'll be wearing for the first time, like a cute little snowflake. Now that's how you'd stun your rock star ex. Oh my god, Miranda, you're a lifesaver. I'm taking this outfit and the rest as well. Yas, you look absolutely incredible. No, you're in for quite a wake-up call. You're darn right he is. I say we give the world that little teaser of your new outfit. Social media? Uh, uh. Smile, Holly. Sugar hug 99. There's our man. Wow, she looks stunning. I wonder how far away we are from Littleton. Isn't this view just incredible, Amy? Gorgeous, no? Gorgeous. I can already smell the Colorado air. You're just going to love spending Christmas in the Rockies. Mm-hmm. Are you even listening to me? I think I want to quit singing. Mm-hmm. You're fired. I want a new manager. Mm-hmm. I can't breathe. I'm having an asthma attack. Ugh. Beyonce isn't even that good. What did you just say about Queen Bay? Nothing, nothing. Go back to your book. <laughs> I love that. That was hilarious. No one talks crap about Beyonce. How about you, Ned? I know a guy like you can appreciate this. Are you serious? There's not even a single palm tree or ocean. The sooner we film this documentary and get out of this pathetic town, the better. Oh, everyone hates on his life. No one understands poor little rock star No. Time to lock up. Uh-oh. The paparazzi? Who is Lisa's leader? Holly! Holly! Um, hi, do I know you? I sure hope so. I'm Lisa's leader with TMZ. Ooh, like TMZ. Ah, I see. One of the media vultures who flocked into town to cover Noel's visit. Understood. Nice to meet you. Wow, that outfit is just amazing. Thanks. You have good style, girl. So I was looking to chat with you a little, Holly. What do you want, Lisa? the dirt. How does that sound? I love Lisa's style. Something tells me to definitely not trust her. I'm gonna say depends on what? Depends. Oh, okay. You have your guard up. I get it. I mean, I'm from EMZ. That's fine. Just hear me out. So you're Noel Evans' ex, right? How does she know? Yeah, and? As I'm sure you've heard, he's coming back to film a documentary. And a lot of fans have been saying it's unbelievable Noel is from this dump. Whoa, okay. Rude. How dare you say that on television about someone's town? Excuse me? They say the only reason this town is even on the map is because of him. Um, well, I mean, he's the famous guy from the town. Just like, I guess, Canada is known for Justin Bieber as well. It's totally normal. Otherwise, no one would want to spend two seconds here. <laughs> Aren't I hilarious? Mm-hmm. I love uh, Holly's unimpressed look. I know Noel must be so annoyed to have to come back to this pathetic little town. I think she's really good at trying to get a reaction out of us, so... Lisa, you better watch your back. Smile and agree with me to the video cameras, Holly. This is gonna be your 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna say something bad about her hometown. Especially for Lisa, of all people. You have got to be kidding me. I honestly don't know what Noel would hate more. Yeah. Really? What are we talking about? The paparazzi tearing down Littleton? Or the paparazzi spreading lies about how he feels about our town? It's true. Noel loves this town as much as I do. I just know it. Set the record straight. There's no way I'm taking the bait and letting them misinterpret our town or Noel. Yeah, you stand up for your rock star of an ex. So we're gonna say, stand up for your town, stand up for Noel, stay silent. I'm gonna stand up for Noel because I feel like if we stand up for the town, then it's gonna say that Noel did say those words, but I don't agree with them. So we, if we stand up for Noel, it's, we automatically stand up for the town and Noel, right? Right. You defended Noel. You must be speaking about a different Noel Evans, because I know him personally. And everything you just said, mm -hmm. it sounds like you know absolutely nothing about him. Sorry to break it to you. I think you should do your research a little better, because Noel loves this town more than any sleazy city you come from. Okay. Well, I'm just... While you figure out your facts, I'm going to head out. Toodles! Bye. Ugh! God, those media vultures are the worst. I'm glad I set the record straight with them. Me too, girl. Me too. But now I just need somewhere to forget about them. A bar? A game room? And I know just the place. My feet started taking me in the direction of late nighters. Sounds interesting. I guess this is a place where people spend their late nights? Late nighters used to be Noel and I's favorite place to be. I guess that's where he wrote his songs and I used to read. 
books. We were here almost every night in high school. We'd share a glass of eggnog while he wrote his songs and I read my books. I was right. But sometimes we didn't even speak one word to each other. We didn't need words. It was a type of moments where you didn't have to talk. Silence was okay because you were with the right person. I bet him and Claire don't have a lot of good silences, hmm? Then all of a sudden a limo passed right next to me. <gasps> oh. Girl, don't be that excited to see him. Stand your ground. And through the dim tinted window, I could see the face of the person I knew better than anyone in the world. I felt my heart leap into my throat and send flutters up and down my spine. Against my will, my entire body reacted to seeing Noel Evans again for the first time. Oh girl, girl, hold it together. Let's not be embarrassing. No more. No? Wow, okay, you had to say the first word. Like there's only one limo in this town. Stop the car. Wow, you weren't even looking around. Polly? Oh my god. Our first meeting in three years, like in person. And all of a sudden, there she was. Snow in her hair, cheeks flushed from the cold. There was my Holly. There I was. Come to me. She looked even better in person than she did in the picture. For a second, time seemed to stand still. Nothing else mattered but her eyes looking into mine. Um, hey? Hey. How you doing? Wanna offer us a ride? That dress. Yeah, I'm wearing an open little dress in the middle of winter and snowfall. But you know, I look good. It doesn't matter if I get hypothermia. You look absolutely beautiful, Holly. Cheater! It's been three years since I've last seen Holly. Three years since I wondered what it would be like to finally be in the same place again. I just can't speed past her and leave her out here walking alone in the snow. Pretty sure you can and have done that in the past. Would you like a ride? <laughs> a ride in a limo to go two blocks? You must be joking. I don't think so. Then what do you suggest? Uh, you should walk with me. Join me out in the snow. You can figure it out. Um, walking? I'm gonna say you can figure it out. Buddy, you can figure it out, obviously. <laughs> You're right. I totally can. I'll walk with you. <gasps> That's not what I meant. Clearly. Reunite with... No. So now that I'm out here with you, yeah? What do you want to say? Will you let me walk with you, Holly? Only if you can keep up. I wouldn't mind the company. No, you should stay right here. I'm going to say only if you can keep up, you city boy now. Because I'm a little girl. Because I'm a little town girl. Let's go. You let Noel walk with you. Only if you can keep up, Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> then after you, mademoiselle. So where to? Like you don't know where my house is? I was actually on my way to Late Nighters. No way. No forgin way. I was on my way there too. <laughs> it's good to know you still remember some of your roots. Of course, I could never forget Late Nighters. It's a special place. More special than Hollywood? I find that hard to believe. Hollywood is fine, but nothing will replace Littleton in my heart. Mm-hmm. Acceptable answer. I'm glad you approve. Wow, that air. You ever feel like Littleton has a certain scent? It's called me. It's my scent, you miss. You mean because of the time you felt our math class was stink bombs? You triple dog dared me to do it. You could have said no. <laughs> well, I could never say no to you, Holly. Except when you dumped me and left me for Hollywood. But that's fine. Old news. <laughs> So, uh, we're here. Thanks for walking with me. Don't mention it. It was so easy to slip back into the old ways with Noel. I'd forgotten how easy it was to be around him. I wonder what him finally being back in town these next few weeks would bring. Claire. Hey, Holly, since we're here, uh, there's something I want to ask you. Um, uh, what? What? What is he going to ask us? Ugh, if it's going to be something boring, like, do you mind uh, giving me a tour or whatever? Better not be it. It could be something like, you want to be the inspiration for my next CD. But wow, how was that for our first chapter? Pretty long and informative and a lot has happened. But I am so excited to start and continue this story. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.